welcome back to excel spark charts from myself academy and excel snippet youtube channel in this video i'm going to just create a base for our workout so i'm going to release another video a little sooner or later we call this video as a d sum so i'm going to use a database sum function in excel but to do that i built few videos earlier a short videos a little while earlier so i have converted one table function here and then i work converted a data into a name range or a name manager now i want to make sure that i am doing all of them in one single shot so how do i do that and i am going to give this as an elaborate or a detailed one probably this may be uh, going beyond a spark shots timeline the spark shot timeline normally goes for 7 minutes if it goes beyond please be patient and uh, learn everything if you already know something here i'll try to create a uh, time stamp here so that you can jump to the respective place what you want to learn in here i'm about to convert this particular data into two different dimension i'm going to create a table first or i'm going to convert this data into a table first and then i will convert that into a name range and then i'll add a slicer to the table and i'll show you what i'm going to do with it with this and what is the advantage of doing something like that when we are working with a table and name manager together without further ado let's see how we're going to do that so i've taken this data to a brand new sheet and then let me just take this uh, uh, all the keyboard shortcuts and other dimensions and then copy paste it to the new sheet sorry i should have done that a little a while ago but i did it in a wrong sheet i did that earlier to convert this into a table so i'm going to select the table first i'll give a control a which allows me to select the whole table and i'm going to give a control t first to convert this into a table if i'm selecting the table for the very first time then it won't really give any issue for me again i have some data issues here so my coloring of the data sets are not coming completely so it's coming at in a little weird way you can see my coloring is happening only in the two columns here okay, okay i can clear that let's go back to the home tab and then just make this as no fill option immediately my no fill option will allow me to take the coloring part to work better for me and one more dimension that i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the table design and then convert this table into a data table so this is what i would have done in my previous two video when i come to the name manager probably i would have shown you this in a short video so now my <coughs> table is ready so why i need a name manager inside a table so when i go for a table the advantage of table will be selecting a column will become more easier for me again uh, the data might not give you a dynamicness for me it gives you a static data in place for me very clearly so that is the advantage that i have in a table feature but when i have the table and name manager that will make my life a little more easier because writing a formula using a table will be a little harder so let me just show you what i'm trying to do i want to create a table total for the sum here i'm going to just say sum and when i try to do the table here so i i need to know the name of the table here so i give the name and name of the table as data table so this will take the whole table for me but i'm going to pick up only one column here so that i have to give a box bracket to pick up the respective data that i want here this is going to be a little longer than normal when i choose a data set if i have this in a name manager this will make my life a little more easier let me show you what i'm going to do it i'm going to create a column based name manager right now so to do that i'm going to just come back and select the whole data again control a and then i'll just use the keyboard shortcut called control shift and f3 and i'm going to name each and every column right now so i'm going to just say the first column as invoice number and the last column as sales so when i do that whenever i create a column based name manager i should remember one thing that my name manager selection when i do it it should only check the top row alone when i given okay that's going to make my life a little more easier i already have a name manager here so let me just replace few of this content which is already inbuilt here now i want to do the same logic again this time i don't want to use the table name here instead i'm going to use a name manager here so the name manager will be for this column it should be sales for me so let me just show you how i'm going to do that i'm going to just say equal sum and then i'll give a sales and then give an enter it's going to give you same answer whatever i got for the 
table range here again here i took a lot of time to do it because i need to give the table name and the column here i'll directly go to the column that is the advantage that i have here the table feature will allow you to make your data work beautifully so i'm going to just add one more dimension here i'm going to just say one 92024 and then let me just take the data same again the moment i do it on top the data are automatically adding or changing it automatically here for me but the changes are not seen quite dramatically so let me just try to add this data let me put them in a split window which allows us to understand this data set better i'll go back to the view and then i'll break this window into two windows here so now i got this window into two so let me just make this split window work in this way so let me just select one of the row here and then split the window here so now when i go down to the last line now whatever changes that i do to this data so let me just remove this you can see that the values are changing here let me make a value which is changing the data a little better so i want to add another 64000 or 63525 let's see what happens 63525 so i'm going to just copy and paste the same value here the moment i do it it's not just changing the data in my first name range data but are also changing the data in the table so i'm doing both of these dimension effectively if i only have a name range the data addition might not work for me if i only have a table selection of table will become harder for me to combine them up so that way i can use the table feature to prolong gate my data as the data dynamically incre increases or if i had a new data coming up my formula will still update automatically but i'm going to select the name range to do it easily that is the agenda of building these two dimensions together hope you learned something new this is vinod signing out from excel and icel academy youtube channel thank you so much